Okay, hey everybody. This is Grace. I hope this doesn't bounce the whole way. Oh my goodness, this amount. Uh, anyway, if it is, I'm sorry. In this video, I want to talk about. I used to. I was telling these stories that they're true stories, not tall Texan tales. They're true stories about you know when I'm doing this these deliveries, food deliveries, mainly food deliveries like restaurants and such. For health insurance, that's a short version. And uh, along the way, I found some that, you know, I found some situations where I was in some situations or saw some people, whatever it is, that were odd, weird, everything to like frightening to just funny, you know, and so many points in between all these that I've been telling little stories and I stopped doing that. Oh, I'm not sure why. But. I guess there were other things that were coming up as usual but uh here is one that you know, it's more than one but the topic is basically about appearances really and i am definitely not a person who um you know makes fun of the way people look or dress you know now there is the, the whole thing of I do videos about you know personality disorders the behaviors of if, if I see it I don't diagnose anybody um, and there's a histrionic that that they try to dress as wild as they can some of them they, it's not a one-size-fits-all but it's kind of that's part of the thing is they dress very provocative what I have seen in my life is and I've been around these since I was born not kidding not exaggerating but is that they dress more provocatively when they're, you know, teenagers to young, uh, to young adults. But as they start to get older, they, they chill about that a little bit, but then they wear more younger clothing than their age. And I know a lot of people can say, well, what's that? <laughs> you know? But there is, okay. Uh, how many of you would see, have ever seen a 90-year-old wear something a 20-year-old would wear? Think about it. And it doesn't have to be that far different di distance in age, uh, difference in ages either. How about somebody who's 50 dressed like somebody who's a teenager? But some people, they think that, you know, I'm quite open-minded myself, but this is just a bit different. Okay. And, uh, and there's that. Now, I'm not making fun of them. I'm just pointing it out. That's what, look in the DSM, the personality. Uh, cluster B personality disorders and you'll see what you see and look up a histrionic so anyway um, but I'm really not a person to ever judge you know make comments about people's usually I mean I cannot recall about somebody's weight unless it's something like I had experienced years ago I don't even remember when okay now we'll talk about Bubba trucks that was a Bubba truck and the muffler was way too loud anyway um, but years ago I met this guy I don't even remember when it was God, it could have been 20 years ago but I'll give the short version is that he sat there in front of me and I was the only witness to this he was one really huge guy. You know, I don't, I'm not saying, I'm only saying because of, saying that because of what he said. I don't judge people. I'm serious. And by their weight or their size, any of this. But what he said was, yeah, let me, I'll finish it. Not to get ahead of myself. But he told me that he had, um, he was probably, like I say, around 500 or more pounds. And what he told me was that he had lost 200 pounds. I was, you know, congratulations, you know, on this line. He, he thought it was a wonderful thing, so I agreed. Okay, good, great. I mean, I really didn't agree. I just said, great, there's whatever. I'm not one to judge. What in the world is all this? These weird signs. But uh, anyway, if a person thinks that's, that's a good thing, then that's a good thing for them. I mean, that's a lot of weight, but anyway, he, uh, 
then he he proceeded to tell me. I don't know whether he thought that I'm blind or something, not literally, but you know that I'm I'm gonna believe him for what he says, or maybe my personal feeling was that he was delusional in a lot of things, not just this weight. But he told me he said that he only has a few more pounds to lose. To, you know, future, period. He had a few more pounds to lose, but he was like five to six hundred pounds, my my view, somewhere around there. And uh, very, very big. I mean, it could have been more. I don't watch those shows, you know, because I'm talking about. Okay, so I really don't have a reference of what that would look like, but he was huge. And he said he only had a few more pounds to lose. But that, like I say, there were other things that, that you know, there's all gathered together, all combined together, gathered together as if they got on feet and walked. But combined together, maybe the, the guy did not ha was not in touch with reality all around. The way he saw himself as some um, a great catch, and that he was so handsome, and uh, women just flocked to him. You know these kinds of things. And, they're going, yeah, this is not somebody I want to be around, you know. I mean, I've dealt with a lot of people that, in my lifetime, who just were a little bit too bizarre and said, no thanks. I mean, that, that can add, in my experience, can add a lot of problems to the person's life. And it's just always too chaotic. When somebody, especially somebody who's not in touch with reality, you know, they have taken a break from reality. Uh, you know. So, never never saw, spoke to that person, him again. But, now that, I, was, I wasn't I was making, picking fun on him. I'm just pointing out, you know, like, that, like I said. Uh, I don't pick, I don't make fun of people. It's just not my character. So, now, don't judge me, because... Of what I'm about to say. I'm giving, you know, I'm being honest here. If I were, I would say it. Period. Good, bad, the ugly, whatever about me, I'm going to say it. I, I don't feel any reason to lie. You know, I mean, if it's to save somebody's life or something like that, yeah, but you know, generally I'm just not one just to pop lies out of my mouth. You know, boop, 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 boop. <laughs> that it was not the word I should have used. No, I, I just don't see any reasons to. I'm telling you, truth is stranger than fiction. If I was going for uh, strange, and then I'd have it made. Because the truth I've seen, oh my goodness. But this one, how to get to this one. Something's since I've been doing these deliveries. Uh, this is not all. This is just one recently since uh, I stopped making videos. But this is more recent. I'd say within this, maybe it was within March. Today's March 28th, 2024. It's 10.50 a.m. And anyway, um, this this was a place I went to. Adam was with me to go do these deliveries. He He's an a electrical engineer. He works from remotely from home as since 2020. And uh, none of them ever wanted to go back. <laughs> the ones that work from their home remote. And they said, uh -uh, we're not going back. You know, to work in the office. Nah. Nope. But uh, I think this is a smart move for everybody who can. This is my opinion. Could be wrong, but nah, not really. I don't think so. <laughs> but anyway, uh, he likes to get out because, you know, sitting at home, he's told me this. He just doesn't like sitting. And when I'm out doing these things, when he's not at work, he doesn't like being, you know, just sitting at home and uh, by himself with the dogs, whatever. You know, sometimes he's not by himself, but he prefers to go out and just see things like me. I go out and I see so many different places I would have never seen. Seriously, never have seen in my own area. This is north, north. I do north and northeast of Dallas, of the suburbs. Some of them are huge cities onto themselves. Onto, why do I say onto? I don't know. See, I have flaws. <laughs> so, anyway. He, he went with me that time just to get out and uh, 
he he likes you know to get out every once in a while especially ones that he likes to do you know um say let's go do this one let's do this one you know that kind of thing and he he likes yeah he likes to do things for the um apartments i don't like apartments he doesn't mind them i don't do apartments because of my knees i've busted both of them up in 2017 fell on a concrete trips on a concrete uh, sidewalk you know regular sidewalk and uh, they actually went out and fixed the whole thing that the city did as I said you know I could lose my legs because of this it was bad man so since then and then I re-injured one of them in 2020 the left one and I just don't go out and do apartments no so anyway uh, that's why I come out here is usually that I've only seen one apartment complex out here <laughs> one so so anyway um so we were you know we were doing these and he took one and uh -uh, it was in one of those apartments and we get there and he he likes to go and deliver them when they're apartments and he, he didn't want to do that one for whatever reason I don't know what it was the buildings were really strange I mean I know a lot of I'm, I'm sure a lot of people who've done apartment buildings go like what who makes this stuff up these ways that they um they put the numbers for you know the, the number of the apartments it's just so sometimes it can be so bizarre and, and there's this one because i wound up doing it and uh it was supposed to be i think on the fourth floor so i don't remember but it was the the they didn't have building numbers on the outside imagine that Okay, and she was in building four, I think. No building numbers. Now, the people who live in them, I've often found that when they're they're trying, you know, like if I call and say, look, you know, I can't find your place or whatever, they seem to think that the people, that it's universal or something, or why are there shoes in the road? <laughs> they seem to think it's universal, that the, the way the buildings are. And she said, I'm in building four. I said, and I said, there's no building numbers on any of these. <laughs> okay. And so I told her where I was. And she said, yeah, yeah, you're right there. And uh, somehow I made it to the right one. There were no building numbers. None, none, none. I'm used to, used to it, you know, looking for building numbers. And then, so, um, and there was no parking place. Yeah, no parking place. And there were probably, I would say, at least 10 buildings. Okay, now how was it? You know, I got lucky early to find the needle in the haystack. It probably was more than 10 buildings. And uh, so I go in. Okay, I stopped and got me some sugar-free and caffeine-free Minute Maid lemon drink. <laughs> yeah. Not sponsor. You know, you've probably seen the commercials, maybe. Uh, anyway. Um, where was I in this story? My goodness. We'll have to stop up here and get some gas. I don't like mine gas to get below a quarter of a tank. I don't like all that gunk. That's what people used to say. I don't know how much truth there is to this. You know, there's stuff at the bottom of your tank. I really don't know. That's not my field. <laughs> so, I still do it. I still go and get fill up. Once it, uh, okay. Let me get straight across. But anyway, I was talking all of this talk about, yeah, yeah I'm going to have to. Okay, it's 12.23 p.m. And I have been able to do one order. <laughs> Today's a Thursday, even. I don't know. Some days it's good, some days it's not. But anyway, I was telling a story about this, that I don't judge people by their appearances and everything. You know, there are other ones that are histrionic, and that's not judging. That's, you know, oh, I guess you would have to call it judging. <laughs> we, some things we do for survival reasons. That's very different. And this one is, I have been around enough people who have that, that kind of behavior to know it's not safe for me to be around them. Uh-uh. I've known too many that are just, whoa, really. So, my brain is going to do that. Rightfully so. Anyway, um, all right, and I told the story about the guy who he was quite delusional to me that I'm not really 
passing, you know, really um, diagnosing him, but when you're five, six hundred pounds or so, and he was saying things like he was God's gift to women kind of thing, and that he only had a few more pounds to lose, and just talking a big bunch of BS, saying, I mean, of course it could be just, you know, there's so many other things it could have been, but he seemed quite delusional to me about himself all around. But I wasn't talking, but I wasn't starting to talk, wanting to talk about those. Those are exceptions to my rules for myself. That's all I'm saying. I'm not giving anybody else any form of advice or anything. But, uh, yeah, so the other thing was what, and I was talking about, what I wanted to talk about was when I'm doing these deliveries, I've seen a lot of strange things or funny, strange, weird, scary, spooky, you know, the whole gamut here. And uh, one of them, I was talking about this apartment complex that it was, it didn't have numbers on it. And people who've done the, that know that, you know, do the deliveries, they know that these apartments sometimes are really, it's like, who, who taught them their numbers? <laughs> you know, not account. Yeah, you know, where, you know, because it, it makes no sense. And well, anyway, this was when it was nice, new. And the, you know, sometimes these, you know, people live in them, they assume we know. How, why would they would assume we know like when there's no building numbers at all and they assume we know which building is you know like this one I think it was number four it could have been a different one but it was like we like they assume we know <laughs> and anyway luckily I was actually there at that one you know or two other ones on the other side but um, so anyway the one you know it was going I went in to go when I walked in immediately I had a do a code to get in and all this stuff and no problem with that but i went in and uh it's like oh this is spooky i've seen stuff like this before it kind of looks like they look like you know like adam he saw it he had gone up there and looked through the window at some point and uh we both have seen these before and we the way we look at them is like like he said this time and i said before like a prison or something. We don't know. Neither one of us has ever been in prison. <laughs> but like a concrete prison. The, everything is just white. This one was white. I think the other one was brown, uh, blue, green. Uh, the walls, you know, the halls. And all it did was one went way straight and kept going and going and going. The other one went to the right. And there were no numbers outside, no numbers inside that pointed in any direction of where you would go to find that particular apartment. Nothing, nothing on the wall, nothing. I would have to go all the way straight down, to, you know, or just, because like I said, some of the numbers you don't, you would say 101, the next thing you see is 112. And then it could, it could be 119 <laughs> in these other places. So you don't know. Where is the other one? On the other side or around the, bo the box, you know, around the, been and around up upstairs. I've seen that seriously, one hundreds upstairs. Uh, such a mixture. So anyway, so I called the woman, and uh, I said, "Look, I'm in here." And first, I had to call her to find out where is the building, and, and I said, "There's no numbers." And she acted like, you know, I should know where it is. No. And some people, you know, they don't really understand this delivery stuff, and. No, even the map would not say. There are no numbers. <laughs> no, no numbers anywhere. The, even the, like I said, GPS, mm -mm, nope. Uh, so anyway, I'm standing there at that, you know, there's a fork in the road. Which one am I going to take? You know, one goes straight, one goes left. I mean, right. And uh, I told, you know, once I got in, I, she, she, I was on the phone with her. And all of a sudden, she started acting like she was talking to somebody else. So I just hung up. And then I called her, you know, once I get in, I said, there are no numbers, you know, where am I, which way am I supposed to go? And she said, go toward the stairs. Okay, where are the stairs? You know, so I said, okay. So I wa started walking, and uh, she, I finally, she finally said that her phone was, uh, wasn't was charged. Okay, we'll charge it, you know, you're at home. <laughs> but anyway, uh, Anyway, so I, so I started walking toward the stairs, and I looked. There's no stairs down that way. Where, where are the stairs? You know, I was getting so, like, 
this is insane. So I turned back around, and uh, when I did, there was a woman walking toward me. I said, oh, you waiting for me? She looks at me, she goes, no. <laughs> she was walking right toward me, like she was going to stop right in front of me. And big, you know, wide hallway, so anyway, so I said, okay, you know, I kept walking. Went back to that, that fork in the road where it starts, and I called the woman, I said, look, you know, there's no numbers, no, and I can't, she, and she was already walking down. She had already walked down the other way. So anyway, after all this craziness, I'm thinking, sometimes people aren't so bright. They're just not that person. They're just not that bright to think, assume that we know where, where everything is. You know, where everything's going to be located. Like, oh, we'll go to the gym. Okay, where is the gym? <laughs> you know, really? <laughs> yeah, you, I mean, to me, any logical person would say, they're not going to know where the gym is. You know, you see? But anyway, or, or go to the manager's office, the leasing office. The Okay, where would the le leasing office be? You know, I don't say it in that, you know, I don't say it with any sarcasm. I'm just thinking, come on, think. And I'm thinking that. But anyway, so, so finally she came down and she was walking toward me. I went, what is this? And I, like I said, I don't judge people by their appearance, but apparently... I don't think she was dressing for some kind of, uh, like she was going to be an, you know, an actress in a play or something. But why would she try? And it looked really like she was trying. She had put some effort into it um, to dress like. And when I told Adam, he cracked up laughing. But he knows I'm not the type to, you know, pick fun, make fun of somebody's appearance and all that. But she looked like she was literally trying to look like a crane. C-R-A-N-E, right? The bird? Seriously. Now, it wasn't the color, but the way she, she was inside this building and the way she had, um, she was very skinny, which, I, like I said, I don't judge people by their size, but she had on something that was really tight and really wrapped around her head and her body in a certain way. And I've never seen anything like that, okay? I'm 60 years old, and uh, I'm not new to this world at all. <laughs> I've seen lots of people over my lifetime in different states and moved around, did a lot of road trips, seen many people, never seen anybody dress anything like that. Like, she literally wanted to be a crane, okay? And I'm thinking I have the right bird, <laughs> so... I'm laughing. Not I have this thing with laughter anyway, so let's just get that. But I, I do find some things is a little humorous, and some of them I'm just like, wow, you know, that kind of laughter, wow. But she did. Now the, the other one was just a few days ago, and I wasn't delivering. I was waiting for some orders, you know, to see if I got any offers. And uh, I was at a racetrack, and I was just parked there, sitting there, and. Uh, this woman walked up to go into the side of the store. I was out to do them, but didn't have any. So then, then there's another story. Okay, so I decided not to, um, not to even bother this lunch because the orders, the offers that are coming in are so ridiculous. <laughs> it's one after another. And, uh, no thank you. I mean, I'm talking like, I've seen crazy stuff like four bucks for yeah, this is over since I've been doing them especially lately like four bucks to go 15 20 miles whatever these were just like um, just it would be too much too little for too much too little money for too far way too far just different amounts you know plus well mainly the ones I've saw today were like they want me to go back to some place and then turn around and go back past where I was and then go, I haven't seen those in a while. And it was just like repeated. So many of them. Plus they send me the same thing like over and over today. Uh-uh. I'm not doing this. So I'm going to go get some chicken and go home. Should have got some chicken over there. Oh well. Maybe I'll get over there and go get it. How is that so? Okay, now as far as the other story, I was going to, um, I was sitting at the racetrack and I was waiting for some offers that 
It was yesterday. And, well, not yesterday. It was one day this week. Oh, no. We're going to have a big old pile of a lot of people turning and going the same place. And there's going to be somebody texting. <laughs> Car in front of me. Yep, yep. They're going to go, but I'm not going to get to go. Okay. I don't know. I'm not going to chance that. That person was going slow as it was. Anyway. Pardon the blinker. But this woman come walking you know, to go into the, the racetrack and I'm sitting there by the near the door in front of it really and uh, and there was a, a man coming out of the store probably around my age and he was just a, a regular old guy you know and uh, he, he came out and, and she was walking and she's probably 40 or more I mean probably in her 40s but um, she had on such a weird combination of clothing and one of them really the jacket it was kind of a jacket but it was short and I don't know if it was meant to look like mink or I mean I doubt it was mink I don't even know if people dare to wear that anymore but uh, it was something it, was, it looked fake whatever it was and it was short and then she had on some really thin, very, very tight, um, and it was a really loud blue. <laughs> I don't know what you call it. I don't, I don't think it was the old fashioned spandex or there's something new now, right? But, and some kind of other really nothing matched, nothing. And I am not the world's greatest at matching. Well, you know, I, I tend to wear black slacks no matter what. <laughs> so pretty much anything can match with black slacks. Okay, slacks. Well, what an old-fashioned term. That was old-fashioned for my mommy. <laughs> black pants. Okay. And then when it's cold, I wear black sweatpants or purple. I've done that. <laughs> A very dark purple. But anyway, black slacks. Where did I get slacks all of a sudden come up? She, uh, she just, and her hair was like, a, a, I don't know. See, I don't make fun of people, so I don't want to use the wrong kind of term, you know, to make it seem like that's bad, but it looked like it, it came from a different era. Really? Okie dokie. Okay, anyway. Yeah, she, uh, did that woman, she... It just was such an odd mix of things, and maybe even her shoes, everything. Because I just, I was like, whoa, I'm not, that's not making any sense. But I am definitely not one of these fashion oriented people at all. <laughs> Plain Jane, uh, whatever fits, whatever's gonna be comfortable, whatever's gonna be the right, um, you know, the right clothing for the temperature. <laughs> Uh, usually I, uh, I live here in Texas usually it goes um, north Texas, north of Dallas and usually it just goes from sweatpants to uh, capris seriously because our weather, the way it goes and that can be within the same week <laughs> they go back and forth seriously and uh, I, I, I have some pants, but it's so rare that I wear just regular pants, slacks. <laughs> I don't know what I do. But anyway, it, it, my reaction, I'm, I'm sitting there. They're not looking at me, neither one of them. And I'm sitting there in my SUV, and I'm seeing this. And, I'm, uh, and I look up at that guy. Like I said, he's around my age. And I look up at him, and he has this look on his face like he, I don't, I think he was just kind of stunned. <laughs> I'm serious. I think my reaction was more because of what his reaction was. You know, I mean, I had my own reaction. It was like, huh, interesting, you know, what? But why did, would somebody purposefully, or was it purposefully, did she get dressed in the dark? I've done that before and wound up uh, not really in the dark, but I have solar screens on my house, and if it's, and it can look very dark and the two colors like pink and orange can look like the same or pink and brown they look the same uh, and I'm more of a pink person but anyway 
um, I've wound up with a, the two different color socks before. I think one was maybe a light pastel blue and the other one was pastel a green <laughs> socks. Yeah. Whoa, why is my car going like that? That's how it was driving. What the crap? And, oh, is there somebody behind me? It's too close, maybe? Way too close? Okay, I don't know what this is here. Okay, you're going to be brake checked. <laughs> I saw a video about people brake checking somebody that bit some kind of scam. At first I was like, you really saying that it's okay to tailgate people? But anyway, this person behind me thought that they were going to tailgate me. But anyway, the, the guy, look, the look on his face was like, he was like, like he just doesn't understand the world anymore. <laughs> I'm serious. You know, anything that you come up with what you think the person's thinking is fiction as it is because you really don't know but uh but the look on his face to me and my degrees are in psychology and sociology and i taught at college and university i i was a christian over 20 years so i kind of have a clue and we're actually taught some like you know recognition recognition anyway uh <laughs> face. So, how was it i remember one in the class we were taught you know but it, it would differ because of different countries, even. So that was interesting. But this guy, he was the same ethnic group as, as mine. And uh, it's like I said, around my age. And uh, I don't know, it just seemed similar in a way. Um, so the, the expressions on, on his face just kind of... And at one time, it seemed like he, tried, he was trying really, really hard not to have an expression. As he was walking by her, you would think that that's not much time to, uh, why didn't you just go? Enough time to uh, do all this, but he did, and it was like, you know, I don't know, it's the look on his face, seriously. And it was like he wasn't trying to have a look. He was trying hard not to, like I said. But some things just, you see something, you're going like, what the ever living? really and I, I don't know I really don't get it when people try to look I mean I do get it you know if their their behaviors all around are more histrionic and maybe that's what it was maybe she really wanted to stand up and believe me she she gained she got what she wanted she really stood out but it was weird <laughs> I mean, and some of the, the histrionic people I know that their behaviors are histrionic I don't know anybody who's been diagnosed with a disorder, but their behaviors, that is that person, wasn't it? But um, the behaviors, you know, they, they, their appearance isn't even that bad. But some of them, the ones that wear the, like I say, woolly worms for eyelashes, yeah, you stand out. Anyway, wrapping it up.